Hey guys, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go through the review and I'm just going to do every problem and walk you through each one. Hopefully it helps. You don't have to watch the whole video. You can kind of skip around as you need, but um, I'm going to just go ahead and get started. So here we go. With number one, what it's having you do here is um, get your like terms together. So that's a 5x plus 3x minus 2x. So five plus three is eight, eight minus two is six X. Um, plus seven equals four X minus three. Okay. Um, if I move my four X over to the other side, I need to make this bigger so I get more room. Okay, so I can help me on this problem, but Okay, so I, I'm gonna kind of take this over here. 2x plus seven equals negative three. Don't forget that negative there. Subtract seven, I get 2x equals negative 10. Negative three minus seven is negative 10. Divide by two, I get x equals negative five. Okay, number two is a proportion. We solve by cross multiplying. So six times four X minus five equals nine times three X minus four. I'm gonna move my face here. Distribute on both sides here. So 24 X minus 30 equals 27 X minus 36. I'm gonna move the 24x to the other side to keep my x's positive. So I have negative 30 equals 3x minus 36. I'm gonna add 36. So that gives me six equals three x. Divide by three, I get x equals two. Okay. Number three. I need to distribute a negative two. Make sure you do the negative two. So that's four minus six X. Negative two times one is negative two equals X minus seven. Combine like terms, or you could just add two to both sides, add, subtract four, but I like to combine my like terms. So four minus two is positive two minus six X equals X minus seven. I'm going to add six X to both sides. It's gonna give me two equals seven X minus seven. Add seven to both sides, I get nine equals seven X. Divide by seven. Nine divided by seven is not a good number. Does not reduce, so I'm just gonna leave it as nine over seven. I guess I should probably circle my answers here to make them stand out. Okay, next one. Change colors here, have a little more fun with this. Okay, I'm distributing a one half. One half times six X, so it's half of six X is three X. One half times 10 is five. I'm gonna distribute the five. You get five X plus five minus two X at the end. I'm gonna put my like terms together here on the right side, so that's three X plus five. Five X minus two X is three X plus five. Now some of you will see it right away, um, you see that the left side and the right side are the same. If not, keep going, and you'll see that both x's cancel. And I'm left with five equals five. So we have infinitely many solutions. Another way of writing that would be all real numbers. That's what you'll see on Math Excel. Another thing you might see is an identity. They all mean the same thing. Okay, so know what those all three, all three of those things mean the same thing. Okay, number five, another proportion. Uh, so let's do, I'll switch colors again here, go green. Cross multiply, so three times three X equals four times two X minus two. I don't need to distribute here, it's just three times three X, which is nine X. Four times two X is eight X minus eight. Subtract 8x from both sides, and I get 1x, or just x, equals negative 8. Don't forget the negative. And I'm actually done with that one. 
Six is a literal equation. Let's see what this looks like. Try something else here. Literal equation because it's got more than one variable. I still want to get x by itself. The directions at the top said solve for x in all these problems. So I want to move the two and the three and the y. I'm going to give it the three first. I'm going to multiply both sides by three. That's kind of weird looking, but it cancels the three and I'm left with two x y equals three m. Now these are all being multiplied, so I can divide by everything but x. You don't want to divide by x. The twos cancel, the y's cancel, and I have x by itself. So I get x equals three m divided by two y. And I'm done, because x is by itself. Okay, let's go with orange on this one. Another proportion. So nine times two X minus three equals six times three X plus one. Distribute, I get 18 X minus 27. Six times three X is 18 X plus six. The 18 X's are gonna cancel. If I subtract them from both sides, they're both gonna cancel and I'm gonna be left with negative 27 equals six. Those numbers are not equal. This has no solutions. Okay, I'll stick with orange. Solve for x, we wanna move by, we're moving that whole thing, so I'm gonna add it to both sides. I'm gonna add the whole thing to both sides. So I get ax equals c plus by. Can't put those together, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now I'm just gonna divide by a to get rid of the a, and I get my answer. x equals c plus by, all of that divided by a. Last two for this video. Um, let's see, go with the blue. Uh, we wanna solve for x again, so that means we gotta move the seven and the four. There is a y still, but it's already on the other side. I'm gonna add seven. So I have four x equals y. Two and seven can be combined to make nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then just divide by four. So x equals, y plus nine divided by four. And that's done. Last one, distributing again. So five times two x is 10 x plus 15. That's a negative four. So it's negative four x. Negative four times negative one is positive four. A lot of people will mess up there. Be careful with that. Combining like terms, so 10 x minus four x is six x. 15 plus four is 19 equals two X plus five. I'm gonna get two X over to the other side. Four X plus 19 equals five, subtract 19. I get four X equals negative 14. Divide by four, not a good number, right? You leave it as a fraction, but always make sure that you can, re if you can reduce, and I can, I can take two out of top and bottom. So X is gonna equal negative seven over two. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video. Stop the share and stop this video. Um, next video is gonna cover word problems.